Hey guys! Today I'm making a few miniatures inspired by Bath and Body Works. Hope you'll enjoy! Starting with the shopping bag, I first measured out the width of the front and back and the two sides. I then measured out the height and the bottom. To color it, I used my markers and some acrylic paint. Now, I usually prefer using my watercolor pencils for this type of work, but the paper I used was really thin and so it doesn't really work well with a lot of water and so instead I used the markers. The problem with that is that they tend to bleed a lot and they're not ideal for miniatures, but I chose to just fix that at the end using acrylic paint. I then took some thread and glued this on for the handles. I also glued on a piece of paper to the back to cover up the marker. Then fold and glue it together. To make the tube for lotion or the sugar scrub, you can just roll out a snake, then cut off a piece. Round off the edges on one end and flatten it on the other end. Trim it and add details. For the lid, I made a line all the way around using a needle tool and made a small mark using a pointy dotting tool. Then add this to the tube using a small amount of liquid clay. After baking, paint them using acrylic paint.
For the bath sponge, I took some tar and just cut out a bunch of small circles, then sewed those together using some purple thread, and once I was done, I painted it using purple acrylic paint. For the candles, I first made the containers the same way as in my Shopkins tutorial or my recent milkshake tutorial. Then take a piece of clay and stick a couple of pieces of wire into it for the wicks. Mix liquid clay and pastel for the candle itself. Then add a small amount of this to the bottom of your mold, add the wicks and then fill up the rest. After baking, pop it out of the mold and put it into the container. I then just made a couple of simple labels using watercolor pencils and acrylic paint. Lastly, I made a really simple bottle of lotion and I pre-baked mine before adding the lid, but you don't have to. After baking, add details using acrylic paint, then seal everything with glaze and you're done. <laughs> 